The religion that Felix Sadler started is headquartered in New York at the American Ethical Union. Natalie Koritz is the archivist. The young men who supported Adler and called him back to start an ethical culture movement were young men formed in a union called the Union for the Higher Life. They began to see that uh, Adler's ideas of a religion of ethics was a possibility. And to at once occupy that common ground where we meet, all meet believers and unbelievers for purposes in themselves lofty and unquestioned by any. Diversity in the creed, unanimity in the deed. This is that practical religion from which none dissents. This is that platform broad enough and solid enough to receive the worshiper and the infidel. This is that common ground where we may all grasp hands as brothers united in mankind's common cause. The essential preoccupation of those who started the ethical movement was to defend and to rescue the human spirit. Uh, they were part of their time, which was the uh, second part of the, of the 19th century. And obviously you had uh, problems, social problems, that were crying out for a reassertion of the worth of the person. The insight that Adler and his early colleagues, as well as his early members, brought to the ethical question was a practical insight. And their agenda was based on their reading, not just of the world around them, but of what they predicted the world around them was going to become. And they set themselves the task of working these out concretely. This is Algernon D. Black. The following is a quote from the index of the Free Religious Association in 1878. The secret of Dr. Arda's remarkable success, it lies even more in his faith in organization, his executive ability. Workers are no less needed than thinkers, and it is the phenomenal combination of both that made him a great success, a success not likely to be ephemeral. asking what Adler still has to say to us today. And in particular, he has to say that moral experience is a clue to the ultimate reality of the universe as human beings can understand it. The saying that we have in the ethical movement, which to me is the most inspiring, act so as to elicit the best in others and thereby in yourself. It is a uh, an aphorism that's applicable to both personal relations as well as the larger relations with the world. What we do does affect others, and the way in which we interact with others also determines our own character. I think one of the very unique things about it has been its emphasis on the individual, and yet along with that a kind of broadening into a concept of the importance of group ethics, so that one thinks both about how do we respond to the dignity and the worth of each individual, and yet how do we build some kind of cohesive group ethic where we manage to both value the individual and yet recognize the importance of the group. I think Adler's uh, idea of the moral ideal, to hold up an ideal uh, either in person or as an idea is something that we can strive for, to become a, a kind person, to become a just person, to strive to become a more responsible person. And to have these um, heroes and heroines held up to us, I think is so important for our children today, especially. Uh, Adler was certainly completely right that we really grow and develop only in our relationship with others. And uh, when we get engaged in projects and and uh, causes that we are concerned about. We become better people, not just because of our dedication to the project, but because we share with others, we learn from others, we correct our mistakes by listening to others and their reaction to us. 
of reading the message that Albert Einstein had sent to the New York Society for Ethical Culture, in which he said the essence of religion is ethics. When you strip away the superstition and the dogmatism, what you have left is ethics. That's the greatest idea in the world.